definitely looking forward to this performance. He will be fighting against none other than Aso, who is a pot player. I do believe that Aso played in previous iteration of the Brojo Cup, uh, but I unfortunately have not had the pleasure to really uh, see him go deep into the bracket. I hope that this time around he will be able to do so, but knowing, taking into account that his first opponent is none other than TY, it might be quite a bit uh, complicated. That being said, let me say hello to everybody. Proto-chan, yoroshiku onegashimasu. Eto, ok, oh, it's been hit. Eto, Tsuruno-san, kyo wa yoroshiku onegashimasu. Fujishiro-san, yoroshiku onegashimasu. Tachio-san, yoroshiku onegashimasu. Konbawa, Amato-san, itsu demo, itsu mo yoroshiku onegashimasu. Yoroshiku onegashimasu. Karu-san, yoroshiku onegashimasu. Born by Midnight, let's go and be. Proto-chan-san, yoroshiku onegashimasu. Ato, Atem-san, itsu mo arigato gozaimasu. Yoroshiku onegashimasu. Tegure-san. Eto, zan, ah, so sne, main de moshiake nai desu ne. Arigato gozaimasu. Tsugoi あ超嬉しいです。ありがとうございます。で、ステ,ステラさんいつ、いつもよろしくお願いします。マメさん、いつもよろしくお願いします。エルレイ・ペルーさん、ウォーカム。エン・ハニワさん、よろしくお願いします。はい、じゃあこれで。Yo、マリサ、how are you doing? Okay, so first match of the evening. Let's see how this pans out. As you can see, TY is really taking his time. He does not want to overextend, especially against a character with such an explosive and high damage. Output as ooh Potemkin oh you can see that Aso tried to go for the Roman cancel right after the uh, right after the um, how do you call it? the the slide from from Potemkin and unfortunately Ty was definitely looking for it just uh, well jumped over it and punished it accordingly so back to the neutral what is gonna happen unfortunately for Pot as you already all know Pot does not have a slide it had does not have really a lot of grounding grounded means in order to uh, close the gap between him and his opponent except uh, by really making hard reads and uh, taking risks but as you can see also is really trying to be very 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 slow and ty is taking advantage of it really going in at timings where aso is caught a little bit sleeping and therefore making the best out of it as you can see it's quite surprising that ty is actually not using either chip or uh, Giovanna, but is actually resorting to using a Sol. That might be a poor uh, seeing of which character he might be using during Evolution Japan. Maybe actually going full into Sol because, as you all know, Sol is currently very highly rated in uh, this season, in season uh, three currently. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, we might not be seeing Giovanna either tonight or even during Evolution Japan, but. Yeah, it's always a change of pace, always good to see. And as you can see already, TY is up a one match to zero. So let's see how this pans out. TY on the Sol, right? Hammerfall, or no, Slight Hit. It was, yeah, <laughs> Slight Hit. Thanks, <laughs> important by Midnight. I tend to forget the name of the, 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 the techniques sometimes, so please do not, uh, don't hesitate to correct me if I say something that's not, uh, that's wrong or, you know, that's, yeah, that's incorrect. Don't forget, don't really do not hesitate to knowledge check me. Actually, I would really, really appreciate it. In my honest opinion, I view him as the straight-up best character in the game. I actually ab agree as well, but I do believe there are other characters who tend to have an easier time and a better, like, um, how do you call it, character and matchup chart to them. Because I do believe that Saul has some bad matchups, but I believe that there are other characters that are equally as strong as him, but that don't have this problem. That basically has, like, at worst, a 5 to 5. Uh, matchup against their worst matchups, and that's about it. Okay, just one second, guys. I'm just gonna check the chat real quick.
Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the wait. We have some uh, well, people who are not responding to their uh, to their opponents, unfortunately. So, okay, the rest seems okay. I think, yeah, the rest seems fine. Okay, good stuff from also right there. Finally getting the uh, the pod buster right after the sliding head, which is pretty good. Best and cheapest viewers on. <laughs> I'm so dumb for reading this. <laughs> Here we go. Let's ban. How do we ban on this? Oh, okay. Let me uh, let me make a new ban ban uh, ban thing. Good stuff from Yaiba versus Marone Chan. This is the next battles. We are still in the winners bracket. Far from the semifinal. Very very far from top eight. The from top eight. So let's see how this pans out. First participation from Yaiba, I believe. Marone Chan was actually the finalist of the previous. Uh, Brojo Cup, he played against none other than Nage, if you might believe it, and actually pulled a, a very, very good match, but unfortunately, Nage ended up uh, winning it. And uh, this time around, Muronchan is out for blood for sure. Definitely looking forward to see how he manages uh, in this tournament. We shall see together. So let me just see. One second. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. Anyways, here we go with uh, the... Wow, the very, 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 very smart choice of using uh, the Overdrive right here for Yaiba. Managed to get the first round very, very nicely. So let's see how this pans out. Here we go with Yaiba. Getting the corner pressure. You hate to be in the corner against Goldwiss. But Moronshan actually managed to get out of it. Goes for the save jump. Catches the back dash with the closest. Should no is not able to get the grab, but uh, is not able to get the wall break, but gets the grab. And you're going to close up pressure, goes for another grab. And oh my lord, the freaking reaction station with the overdrive to punish Moronshan and prevent him from getting the jump in. Very nice entire from Yaiba. Okay, oh, goes for the white wild assault, and you are in jail, sir. But no, he almost got the juggle. That would have been sick. Getting hit by the secret edge and still managing to get the juggle would have been actually way too good. Anyways, we are still in the... Oh, Lord, in the neutral. If there's such a thing. Oh, you brought a sword to a minigun fight, sir. What are you doing? Anyways, here we go, but Moronchan actually manages to prevail. Gets the first round, the second round, actually, by the skin of his teeth. And Moronchan goes for the grab, gets it. What uh, MS and frame delay is it? Well, they play. So it was one bar, so red bar, and 186 uh, milliseconds. I didn't get the how many rollback frames they had though, but it was quite unplayable apparently, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, I might have to forbid, uh, well, participants who are currently in China, given that they might be using VPNs, in which case it will, yeah, it's just not gonna be possible. So yeah, I might do it. My hope for Kai gameplay falls on you, Maronchan. Don't worry, you you can definitely bet on Maronchan. Maronchan is no slouch. He's a very, very strong uh, Kai player. So let's see how this pans out. Unfortunately, gets hit by the Mayan. This is going to be first match for Yaiba. Yaiba takes the first match. Let's see how this pans out. But yeah, man. Holy freaking lord. That's a match I kind of wanted to see, though. Uh, so Cal versus Akure Leimu. But yeah, you know, unfortunately, we don't have time. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see every single match of the tournament, but uh, yeah, everybody is on uh, limited time. Maron is extremely good. Oh yeah, he is. Well, he made it. Uh, he made it in the semifinals during the last Brojo Cup. So yes, and the last Brojo Cup also was completely full. Yeah, just for information, guys, we had my my tournament is limited to 32 players, but today we had 38 participants. So we had 38 regist uh, registration for participating to the tournament. So that means that people really, really, really wanted to participate. And the previous tournament as well had 32 participants, and Moronchan still managed to make it to uh, to uh, second place. And he only lost to uh, to Nage, so very, very strong player against who he lost. Ruruka brackets are always... It's crazy, right? Yeah, I think it's really just due to the uh, Evo Japan, who's in two weeks. Everybody is really trying to participate to participate to a maximum number of tournaments just to get ready for evolution japan that's what i think uh is really going on which is fine i'm, I'm not i'm I, we take these you know i'm definitely not somebody who's going to complain about it but yeah it's really cool that uh the last two brojo cups this one included 
are fully stacked. It's really, really, it warms my heart. I'm really happy. That being said, here we go. And uh, yeah, Maronshan manages to stay alive. Did lose the first match, though. I tries to get out of the corner, but man, Yaiba is an unmovable fortress. Gets the mine in. Gonna get the wall break. Goes for the overdrive to get the hard knockdown for the follow up. And boom! Oh man, yeah, the three versus three in the uh, yo, yo, Yorufukashi, yeah, Yofukashi from uh, yeah, the tournament organized by Hatake. Yeah, that, that was stacked, man. So many good players played. Daru Ino also played over there, man. Ah, that was crazy. Got the third place, I think. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And here's where we go. Oh, Lovin and Yaiba managed to get the bait on the birds. Good lord, who is this player? Man, he's just playing with Moronchan at this point. I never see. Yeah, me neither, man. It's crazy. Look at that. Good lord. He's really running a number. I, I don't want to be disrespectful, but he's definitely running a number right now in Moronchan, which is very surprising. That being said, Moronchan, no slouch. Oh, wow, that conversion, though. Using the Wild, uh, the wild Assault of Nordic to get the juggle. That was uh, very smart of him. Uh, gets hit by the jumping D though, and Yaiba should be able to seal the deal for this round as well. This is the big problem with Gold Lewis's player. Well, when you face a Gold Lewis player, is that if you get hit, you can more or less be guaranteed that half of your health is gonna go through the window, whether you like it or not. A nice jump in right there from Maronchan. Gets the closest counter hit, forces Yaiba to pop the burst. Yeah, Maronchan using the uh, aerial stun edge in order to prevent, uh, to prevent Yaiba from following the mine and uh, getting an easy way in. Very, very smart choice from Moronchan. Gonna get the hard knockdown. And here we go with Moronchan trying to get the shimmy in. Oh, got hit by the aerial behemoth though. Good lord. And here we go, it's behemoth time, but the Aiba man almost got hit by the stun nipper, but managed to block low just in time. Goes for the white wild assault and the mine is in. Yeah, man, now you hit to see it. You hit the mind, don't you? And here we go. Goes for the cross up, and just like this, Maroon sending, not Maroon, Yaiba sending Maroon for. So, yeah, it's always a treat to see him play. I'm always in awe. He always manages to find like routes and stuff to surprise me. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to see how he's going to do against none other than the god of the Fausts <laughs> himself in the flesh. We shall see how this pans out. Uh, that being said. Okay, so I'm uh, happy to announce that Cal won his match against Hakurei Leimu. So, uh, so yeah, I'm happy for him. <laughs> That's all I can say. Anyways, here we go on to the next battle. Roy san, hi. Eh, to, san no no ga mada no yo desu. Eh, to, あと、ま、引き続き頑張ってください。よろしくお願いします。終わりました。お疲れ、カルさん。大変でしたね。マジでお疲れ。ありがとうございます。じゃ、次はロイさんですので、頑張ってくださいね。オッケー、エニウェイ
Okay, finally Nage, force pop the yellow Roman cancel. Gets the juggle and still holding on to Woo! Still uh, just taking in the air. You hate to see it. Nage is a primordial. <laughs> yes, he is, man. The god of Fausts, man. Good lord. And here's Eureka with the big 2S counter hit from Still Up. Forcing Nage to pop the burst. Uh, that being said, Nage does have the corner positioning. Also forces Still Up to pop the burst. And Still Up. Ah, uh, gets the counter hit too far to get the full 2H though. You hate to see it. Gets the jump in, but man, the wait was here to save the day. Nage lives to fight another day. Oh, the trumpet is out. And Nage definitely noticed it. Manages to get it. Still uh, maneuvering over the, the cavalry right there. Very smartly done. Gets the jump in. Gets the follow up. And this should do. Kaboom. One round to Stara. Very nicely done. Wow, you can back dash a meteor. Yes, you can. If you do it uh, early enough, that is. If you do it way too late, then yeah, you're definitely gonna get. I think you need a little bit of chance as well. <laughs> and a chance is something that Stella does have a lot sometimes. So that's good for him. That being said, it's all for Nagi for now. Nagi with the corner positioning gets the dive. Gonna get the juggle and Stella forced to pop the burst, or else he would have died. Good luck. Stella going low. Gonna get the Kabari combo. Now he finally forced to pop the burst. Tries to go for the standing K. Gets the six feet. No! Why would you take the air, sir? Good stuff from Naya. Takes the second round as well. Gets a pretty hefty lead. Not going to lie, this is gonna be a big uphill battle right here. What is gonna happen? We shall see. And here we go with the Farke. Nage popping the freaking medium. And here we go with the juggles. Kaboom, you got syringed, sir. Okay, still uh, trying to yeah, to find a way in, but man, Nage with the combos using the scarecrow. Uh the scarecrow special in order to get the teleport and then continuing his combo though with freaking godlike. Okay, Nage gonna get another freaking combo using the scarecrow again to get the teleport. With a perfect also, good lord. Nago, Nago, Nage is out for blood. Good lord. Oh, there you go with the, bro, the wild, white, the white, the wild assault. I hate saying this. It's crazy. Anyways, we're going to jump in. Little Faust is here to play, and the cavalry is here to stay. Nage, man. Ooh, tried to go for the blue Roman cancel. Uh, instant overhead. That being said, Stella with the combo. The Stella combo is out. Good lord. And man, Stella is out. Stella with the use on send. I tried to go for the grab, but man, Nage. Nage with the counter hit using the freaking dive and gets the kill with the syringe. Takes it a clean three to nail. Some buffs from Anji. You can definitely rest assured that Proto Chan is bound to leave some very, very nice uh, uh, results in the Brojo Cup and in uh, general uh, tournaments. Well, in, in, in tournaments in general. But uh, for now, Mugi decided to use uh, Axel for this matchup, which can be understanding, I suppose. Uh, it can be really tricky playing against Sanji and uh, you taking your distance by using Axel, uh, by using his zoning uh, capabilities, might be a very smart choice, I believe, in this matchup instead of using Nagoriyuki. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's see how this pans out. Mugi is a huge for the community here. His match uh, making Discord is great. Oh, definitely, man. Definitely. Uh, man, Mugi is a uh, Mugi is a uh, Mugi is a treasure, man. <laughs> he needs to be preserved. This guy's so nice. He's so nice. He's such a strong player too. But anyways, that was yeah, that was a nice hit, right? I really liked it as well. And here's Eureka with the jump in, and you, as you can see, man, Proto Chan with the hefty life lead. We are not uh, out of the woods yet. That being said, ah, good lord. Okay, Mugi trying to get the hit in. While also taking his distance. Gets the ring uh, in. He's going to get the juggle and the wall break. Wow, that was a nice uh, Axel Bomber for the wall break. Oh, and she might have... No! Good lord, and here we go with the Nagiha for the kill. This I was definitely not expecting. Proto Chan steals it at the end, but then again, Mugi was about to steal, him, steal it himself. So it's only normal. And here we go with Mugi with the freaking combos. What the hell was that? Mugi with a deep pressure right there. Proto Chan a little bit afraid to press some buttons. 
And Moogie with the confirms and the Axle Bomber. And the Axle Bomber for the kill! Second round goes to none other than Moogie. Let's see how this spins out. Moogie looking pretty good. Gets the hit in. Gets the juggle as well. What the hell was that? That's so crazy! Moogie with the routes, man. You definitely don't think that this is his sub, but it is actually a sub. And Moogie getting the counter hit. That being said, Fertile Champ does get the, uh, the, the corner positioning. Going for the co for the damage potential. Goes straight into the side for the hard knockdown and the damage as well. Pretty nice damage, all things considered. And here we go, the jump in. Oh, Big Fujin and man, just let it rip. Kaboom, get the hell out of my face. Oh, wow, and Moogie tried to go for the follow-up command grab, but I don't really know what happened right there. It didn't really uh, do what he was expecting it to do. Very nice XP right there from Moogie Goals for the jump in. Should be able to get the kill with the OTG and does. First match goes to Moogie. Guys, I need to get a glass of water. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, Brits and Cookie, thank you very much for the way. And here we go with the second match for now. Moogie is in the lead, but Proto Chomp is absolutely not a slouch. We're bound to see some very interesting interactions in this match. And just as I say this, Proto Chomp takes the first round very convincingly. What is Moogie gonna do? We shall see big 6p six, <laughs> six start of the round by Proto Chomp, forcing Moogie to pop the burst. Proto Chomp going with. Going with the dance right there, just navigating through the far-reaching normals of Moogie and just making his way towards him. And look at the damage! He tried to go for a instant overhead or uh, blue Roman cancel. Unfortunately for him, he was... Oh, wow, that grab! What the hell was that? That was freaking next level, like, anticipation type of shit, if I might say. I'm sorry. Forgive my French, but that was really, really crazy. Good stuff. And here we go with Moogie getting the wall break. Good lord! Okay, big Kizashi right there from Proto-chan goes for the extension station using the ooh, using the uh, wild assault. That being said, man, ah, Mugi does not want to stay on the on the floor. Ah, Proto-chan trying to read the jump right there from Mugi, but Mugi just con content to st stay on the ground. Here we go with the snail goes for the ray, Whoa, uh, and again the double freaking dance, and Proto-chan takes the second match just as I. Anticipated we might see a uh, character change. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Okay, Moogie. <clears throat> Goes for the grab. <clears throat> and here we go with Proto Chan. Wake up with the gold burst. Oh, wow, Moogie. Unfortunately, missed time right there. Hope you're all well, bro. And tournament goes smoothly. Ah, uh, thank you very much, Akuman. We have so many killers today. It is crazy. And thank you very much for the words of encouragement. Things are going pretty uh, nice for now. We did have some connection errors, but it's fine. It's just like the first, uh, the first match. For now, it's going pretty smoothly. Not gonna lie. Anyways, here we go with the second, the first, uh, the which one? The third match. First round. Let's see how this spins out. Big Fujin right there, and Proto Chan getting the juggle straight into the side. Gonna get a lot of damage right there. Well, not decent damage, I guess. Well, all things considered, Anji, this is not good damage, but nice block right there from Moogie blocks the instant overhead. Unfortunately, oh lord, why didn't Proto Chan jump? It is fine though. Oh, and here we go with the Rain Wolf for the kill. Good stuff from Moogie. Takes the lead, a pretty hefty one at that. Here we go with the grab. Wow, and Moogie with the conversion, man. Good stuff. Gonna get the wall break. Proto Chan meeting Moogie in the air. Uh, getting hit by the. the um, what's it? The hell is. The. Shitsu? The. I forgot the name. Anyway, the butterfly! <laughs> I think it's Shitsu. Yeah, I think. I'm not quite sure. Okay, anyway, and here we go with. Oh, Lord! That was a big hit. Proto Chan trying to get something starting. But man, oh, I think Proto Chan got hit. Yeah, he got it. 
good stuff from Mugi going for it. Oh lord, that was sick. Mugi tried to go for the grab and gets the kill with the standing P. Good lord. Mugi not afraid, man. Really just not afraid. Good stuff. Mugi staying alive. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the next battle. <clears throat> good lord. Oh, okay, and here we go with Moogie, anticipating the dance from Protochan, goes straight for the grab. Ah, no entire right there for Moogie, he's gonna, yeah, this is gonna cost him a lot. Not gonna get, not gonna be the end by any means, but this is gonna do a lot of damage. Protochan going for the wall break. Ooh, big dance! Ah, and just enough to get the kill by the, the, the skin of his freaking foot. <laughs> Good lord! Anyways, here we go with the knockdown. Ooh, that was an unfortunately timed uh, normal from Protochan. Got grabbed. Ah, oh, man, and Moogie, man. With the OTG, the wall break. See how this pans out. Nice grab for Moogie. Yeah, gonna get the Axel Bomber and the wall break. Good lord. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, big jump in. And Proto Chan with the wall break. Definitely not enough to kill, but he's gonna get the hard knockdown. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Good lord. Oh lord, nice sweep. Fortunately for him. Oh, nice air grab and Proto Chan taking it, man. Not out of this yet. Is Moogie going to change characters though? This would this is definitely an interesting turn of events. Mugi Axel, yep, Mugi Axel, it's his sub. His main is uh is Nagori Yuki, but apparently he prefers playing Axel against uh well against Anji, I suppose. Probably. But for now, yeah, we're seeing Axel. And as you can see with the grab, Mugi gets the counter hit. It is pretty sick, right? Oh Mugi, uh, unfortunately for him drops the combo, but he gets the extension station with the Roman cancel. Gonna get the wall break. Oh, okay, here we go to Proto-chan. Unfortunately for him, committed to a punishable move and got Axel Bombert as a punish. Good stuff for Mugi. Gets the air grab. That was sick. Here we go with Mugi. Getting the jumping. Ah, HS and the Axel Bomber into the freaking wall break. I know, right? <laughs> I'm really surprised he's so clean, like it's crazy. And again with the air grab and, and the double Axel Bomber for the kill. Mugi taking it with us. The next battle, Ibushigin Lo Leo, sorry, versus Caffeine. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Get ready to rumble. So yeah, Leo, always one of the best Leo. <laughs> what do you say, Leo? One of the best Faust player in the entire world. Uh, interesting piece of trivia, Leo is actually his real, um, his real civilian name. So his name is, uh, I don't remember his, his family name, and even if I did, I wouldn't say it for privacy sake, but uh, Leo is actually his real name, his real uh, civilian name. So uh, this is very, very um, surprising, especially if you take it into account that Leo is a, uh, well, is, is Japanese actually. So it's very uh, surprising to see that he has a very European name. But anyways, it's just a piece of trivia. Uh, remember it or forget it, it's really not a problem. That being said, first round goes very quick in favor of Leo, who is actually also 192 centimeters of height, which is the reason why you can see right now in his player name, Ibushi in 192 centimeters. <laughs> Anyways, Leo in the corner. Unfortunately for him, gets swept. And this time around, it's Caffeine bringing in the heat. Leo just pops the overdrive. He doesn't care. And it is foot breaking time. Good lord. And Leo trying to read a jump right there from Caffeine. Forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. And here we go with the corner pressure. Leo just casually... <laughs> Casually flying away. Oh, gets scooped by the 2D though, and goes for another one. There's a young is a Street Fighter 6 player also named. Oh, really? Damn, there's a there's a, a boom in the name, I suppose. I don't really know why, but it's it's pretty cool. I like the name Leo. It's actually pretty sweet. I wonder if that uh, name's gotten more popular in Japan these past 20. Yeah, maybe. Might be the case. 
Uh, Leo is uh, in, in his 30s though, so um, probably a little bit old, older than yeah the, the the Street Fighter 6 player Leo though. But yeah, definitely. Um, the the name is very very surprising for well, you don't really expect uh, any Japanese individual to be named Leo, uh, except if you're like half or something, like half Japanese and half something else. So yeah, it was really surprising when he actually told us, yeah, Leo is actually my name. <laughs> and we were like, oh really? That's really surprising. Anyways, that being said, here we go with the overdrive for the wall breakup. Boom! Get out of here! Cafe not going out without a uh, fight. Oh, interesting. I thought GGSC Leo to be much younger. Nah, nah. He's, uh, well, he does look young. He really does. But uh, he's actually in his 30s. Yeah. he's. Uh, I think he's the same generation as I am. He used to be big on uh, 3S uh, on Third Strike. He was a big third strike player, apparently, and from what I understand, well, he did play the game a lot, apparently. But anyways, here we go with the uh, command grab, and Leo gonna get that that wig on fire. My desire, good lord, Leo with the entire and Caffeine holding on to their burst. Oh no, he drops it. You hate to see it. And but Leo still ends up taking it. Hey, Caffeine. Uh, oh, actually, Leo is up one. I didn't update the, uh, the scoreboard. Okay, big grab right here from Leo. Gonna get the knockdown. Good lord. Yo, Zoom, how you doing? Welcome back, bro. Damn, you You won't believe how many good players are playing to the Brojo Cup tonight. It's crazy. We have so many pros. It is actually pretty crazy. We have Roy. We have Leo. We have Steven. We have Mugi. We have Hagara, Caffeine. Kohide, uh, we have TY, like we have so many great players today, it's actually pretty crazy, I'm not going to lie. That being said, here we go with the command grab. Oh no, and Leo getting the bait on the burst, up 2-0 to zero on the verge of sending Caffeine to the loser bracket. But it's gonna be the outcome, we shall see together. Oh, we have Nagi as well. <laughs> we have so many great players, man. And the participants exceeded the... Yeah, it did, man. We had like 38 parts, uh, regist registrations, but we only have like 32 seats, unfortunately. I can't, I can't really afford to make like a, a bigger uh, a bigger tournament because the tournament will finish at like 1, 1 a.m. or something, and I, I do need to go to sleep because tomorrow I have work. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately, I can only cap it to 32. Maybe one day if, I'm, if I get a lot of notoriety and... I can live from, from streaming, I'll eventually make it a 64 uh, person like tournament. But for now, yeah, 32, man. I just noticed Leo has the height. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's a very tall individual, 192 centimeter. Sorry, I don't know how uh, much uh, in inch it does. Uh, you say in, in feet? I'm sorry? For you all, for you American um, like viewers, I don't know how much it does in... Uh, it's more than 6 feet. Maybe 6 feet 2? 6 feet 3, I guess? Around that, I guess. But yeah, very uh, tall individual. Evo Japan preparation for... Yeah, man, it's exactly this. This is exactly what it is. And then the reason why... And not just my tournament, but also the tournament of my good friend Hatake, who is a, also a tournament organizer, who organized this tournament on uh, Sunday. He had a heck ton of participants in his tournament yesterday as well. So I think everybody's really, really hyped and uh, want to get as ready as possible uh, for Evo Japan and so they participate They participate to as many uh, tournaments as possible uh, to get ready for it. That's what I think, yeah. Anyways, here we go! Woo! And Leo baiting the 6P right there, gonna get the wall break! I ah, tried to go for the command grab, but Caffeine snipping it out. See how this spins out, Caffeine with the attack from the minion. Gets the corner pressure, gonna get the Elysian Driver! Driver! Good lord! Look at the wall break! It was gonna be the next step we shall say- Oh no! Caffeine did not have enough bar! He could've gotten the kill if he had the Roman caps! Uh oh! Oh, you hate to see it! That was such- Oh, but still, Caffeine manages to take it right at the end. Very nicely done. Let's see if Leo can bring it back. That being said, Leo is in- uh Oh, he's actually quite in the lead right now. He's actually on set point. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. Let's see how this pans out. Is he on set point though? Yeah, I think he is, yeah. I might Oh Lord! Man, Caffeine! Not afraid! Caffeine going for some close-up pressure gets hit by the jumping as though! And ooh Leo! Dropping his combo! 
getting hit by the standing H. This time around retaliates with the mix, mix, mix. Gets bursted on though. You hate to see it. Good lord. And the 6P counter hit for Caffeine. Wanted to get the bait on the burst, but Leo not easily burst baitable. Gets the. Uh, gets the jump in with. Oh lord. And Leo again getting the kill with the entire. I do believe this is the end. Yes, it is. I'm uh, gonna stick with uh, his current uh, Sol. For some reason, I do not. Well, I do understand though. Because Giovanna versus. Uh, what's his name? Versus Nagoriyuki is probably not in favor of Gyo, I suppose. Neither uh, is Chip. But Chip doesn't have enough of a big health pool to sustain the onslaught of, uh, of Nagoriyuki, I suppose. Which might be the reasoning behind. TY wanting to uh, use Saul and not uh, either Giovanna or um, or Chip. And also just the fact that Saul is actually a very, very strong character. That being said, here we go. On we go. Saul truly does it all. No, yeah, Saul is the uh, all-you-can-eat yeah, of uh, Guilty Gear Survive. You can, I think he doesn't really... It, it's the all-round... All, the all-rounder, I suppose. He really covers most of the, the matchup. He doesn't really have a very, very bad matchup. I think, uh, but I do believe there are still some characters that are stronger than Saul currently, who are at least more suffocating than Saul. And I think that Nagoriyuki is part of it. Yeah, actually, Leffen uh, made a uh, top tier. I know that some of you might not like Leffen, but uh, he made a tier list recently, and uh, for each character that he placed on the tier list, he really gave an extended reason for why he put them at that particular spot, and. Uh, surprisingly enough, I was actually, well, I was actually, uh, I did agree with almost all of his placing on the tier list. And I do believe that currently he thinks that, uh, what's his name, Gold Lewis, Nagoriyuki, Ram, Mei, uh, Saul, and that's about it, are the top tier characters of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, well, the, the, the season, I think. Ah, hi, uh, L28, I think I understand. Just wait a second. Okay, just one second. <clears throat> uh, okay. Ah, good stuff from Mugi takes the first round. Hello, 282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282282
pose as much as a problem. And you know can bait it actually. So yeah, so it's uh it's yeah, that's probably the reason why I feel a little bit biased. If I played like a grounded character, I might feel that Anji is stronger than what he is currently. But I did agree with his placement of uh, Eno, actually. I do believe that Eno is not as strong as what people might think she is. And that, uh, yeah, that's basically it. I was happy that he didn't put her too high. Especially since Leffen does not particularly like Eno, so... so I'm, I'm happy he actually put her so low. She was like mid-tier. But anyways, that being said, we are back to the match. And Moogie with the knockdown goes for the white while the salt probably thought that TY was gonna wake up with a grab. TY with the reflex, the re the reflex uh, uh, grab right there on the Fukio of Moogie. That being said, here we go with TY in the close-up pressure. Goes for the sweep. Goes for another. Ooh, the Roman cancel sweep for the. Ooh, Lord. Try playing Geo Strike Throw with a salt skin. <laughs> okay, I'll think about it. I do dabble with Milia these days, actually, and uh, I've got to say she's actually pretty cool to play. I really like, uh, I really like how she plays, and she has a mobility that really, really frees people up. Uh, I mean, like I'm playing Eno, so Eno is not like the most mobile character in the game. She she is mobile, okay? She does have like a, a nice air uh, mobility, but she's quite slow. And it's all it's really cool uh playing from Eno and going from Eno to a character who is extremely quick as Melia. Like the change but I'm I'm not saying I'm gonna main Melia, but Melia is actually pretty fun to play in this patch, yeah. She's actually pretty freaking strong too. So yeah, anyways. Uh 2-2-1 two, two, currently. Melia in the lead. Goes for the freaking Goes for the Beyblade right there. Got a counter hit, forced TY to pop the burst. Melia with the command grab. Oh man, the new Milia move is so awesome, man. It really does. And it gives her a ton of damage in the corner. She has a crazy corner uh, combo with the new move that she has. And it does so much damage. So yeah, it feels like, why would I... Why would I, like, play Eno when there's basically this mix-up character who's quicker than she is. She has a more suffocating pressure better mixes and better damage as well the only thing that basically is worse than Eno is the health but out of everything else like Melia is I feel is better so it, it really when I, I I tried her like just a couple of hours today I played her and it was like damn damn this this is how it feels to play like a quick character and it was really really it was mind opening mixed characters need more damage for real for oh man as long as you don't include <laughs> As long as you don't include Baikin in the mixed character, yes, I, I totally agree with you, Bakuman. <laughs> I think I think Baikin has enough damage as it is currently. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Baikin is actually yeah, she could. I guess she could probably enjoy uh, like a, a couple of buffs or two. I, I can. I think she she could. Yeah. Nah, you're right. You're right. But I don't know if giving her more damage though is 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 the correct way to go though. But. But maybe she might benefit from like uh, a couple of, of other buffs besides like damage. Because she does a lot of damage already, doesn't she, no? I feel like she does. And here we go with the corner and TY gonna take this round. I think that was the nah, it was the round. Moogie is actually on a match point right now. If TY does not get this one, he will be sent in the loser's bracket, which would be extremely surprising. But it's fine. Let's see how this pans out. Big 2H right there from Moogie and TY reading the command grabs attempt. Tether buff that steals the opener. Nah, hell no. Hell no. That would oh, hell no. I totally disagree. <laughs> Here we go with the grab from Moogie. Goes for the save jump. And Moogie with the white ball assault. Applying pressure. Getting hit by the 2k 2D though from TY who gets the corner uh, switch. She's gonna get the wall break. Or not actually. And here we go with the close S counter hit. Not counter hit, I'm sorry. The close S OTG and Moogie finding the opening and getting the kill. Sit. But it's okay, I'll do it on the fly because I'm a professional. I'm just kidding. Anyways, here we go. Let me update the uh, predictions as well. Yeah, did I? Yeah, okay, we're good. So pre uh, prediction, Moogie took it. Good stuff. Let me update this as well. Leo versus Nage. 
And here we go, you can cast your vote. Mugi-san, めっちゃ強いですよね。That was sick indeed, Faust Yonkos. The doctor is in indeed. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Who is gonna be the best? The best Faust we shall see. Leo is the purple Faust, whereas Nage is the red Faust. Let's see how this pans out. You know what? I'm gonna put the color in as well in the description just so that people know who you are dealing with. So this is Leo, purple. Uh, purple? Yeah, purple. Purple. And I'm just being very nice. And for now, Nage got the overdrive. Here we go. Good stuff from Nage gets the hard knockdown. Gonna go for the close-up pressure and Nage getting the corner pressure. That being said, ah, Leo got a knockdown. Oh Lord! Yeah, oh man, and Leo committing suicide with the bomb. <laughs> Good stuff from Nage. Gets the first round. Oh, and gets the scoop on Leo right now. Leo fighting for his life in the corner, trying to get out however he can. Ah, forced Nage to pop the burst though. Here we go with... Oh, Lord! Unfortunately for him, Nage had the cavalry. I didn't even notice. Okay. Leo does have one Meteo, though. Ah, but he's gonna get hit. Oh, Lord! This is gonna kill! Good Lord! That was sick conversion right here. Good stuff from uh, from Nage. gets the first match. I don't, I don't know if it's red or pink. I think it's pink, actually. Not red. Ah, it is red. Yeah, it's red. It's red. I know it's pink. <laughs> depending on the, depending on the what's it called on the, how do you call it the filter? I'm gonna I'm gonna put pink. That salmon. Yeah, let's put salmon. Here we go, salmon. That's it. It is salmon. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the juggle in the corner. And Naga getting out of the corner. Get the two S counter hit with the mix 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 follow up. Gonna get the wall break. Character Zaku, uh, two colors. Exactly. You know your colors well. Anyways, here we go with the corner pressure and Nagi waking up with the overdrive. Not giving an F. Oh, good lord. And man, Leo popping the burst as well. Uh, Leo is life hanging on a thread. Ooh, Nagi almost got the, the kill right there. And Leo getting scooped. By damn it, uh, by the I'm sorry, by the um, what did I want to say? Being scooped by the dive, I think it was. Yo, if that bomb killed, would have been god. Like I agree. And here we go in Naga into corner pressure, man. Leo seems suffocating right now. I'm not gonna lie. He finally gets out of the corner though. Goes for the command grab, and I think Naga is gonna get it. No, Leo actually using the Roman cancel to keep Naga in the corner goes for another command grab and it's command grab time Nagi just resorting to using the yellow ruin cancel gets out of the corner the Leo walk exactly jumping to okay I call it the dive bomb the Dalsim dive yeah the, the, I'm not, I don't call it the dive bomb I call it the dive but yeah the Dalsim dive yeah and here we go with the knockdown and uh, Nagi on the verge of getting the second match as well Gets the dive counter hit. Good lord. Now you're getting the hard knockdown. Goes for the safe jump. Ooh, tried to go for a snapsy command grab. Gets the jump in with the syringe. And Leo forced to pop the burst. Things are looking pretty bleak for Leo, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, Leo getting hit by the bomb. And Nagi with the freaking conversion station taking the second match as well. Let me see if everything is going back good with the bracket and everything's going swell. Good lord! And on to the next match. If Nagi takes this one, he will be making his way to the winner's final where he will be fighting against Mugi later on tonight, by the way. Because once this match is over, we'll be moving to the loser's bracket. And here we go with Leo getting the command grab. Goes for the low. Just have the hammer to cover his approach. 
And Leo with the command grab yet again. What's gonna be the mix? What nice back dash, man. But Leo! Leo! Reading that back dash from Nage and back dashing his, his himself to make the grab attempt from Nage with and punishing accordingly, resulting in a, in a, in a wall break and the kill eventually. Nice back dash again from Leo, man. Noticing that uh, he had clashed with Nage and didn't want to commit to anything. Here we go with Leo. Ah, getting hit by the 6P. Tried to go for a mix, 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 but man, Nage was aware. Oh, Lord. Here we go with the jump in. Nage, man. Dropping the combo, though. Ah, Leo is out. Finally can breathe some fresh air. Gets hit by the banana, though. Wow. Oh, Lord. This is a big 2H. And Leo getting some pretty decent damage. And uh, I tried to go for his Schnapsy Schnoops mix up, but. Ah, uh, Lord. Nage knew. Oh! Leo with the command grab, and he's gonna get the kill. Finally! Finally, Leo putting one on the board. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a straight 3 to 0, but apparently Leo said, nope. I'm not done yet. Give me a chance. Anyways, guys, I'll be right back. I, I want to drink some water. I'll be right back. And the big spear right there from Nagi should be able to get the wall break. At least gets, yep, yeah, the juggle in the corner gets the wall break. Things are looking pretty bleak for Leo. Man, Nagi is so slippery, but Leo does get the jump in using the syringe. Okay, he wants to keep Nagi in place, does not want him to uh, move. And Leo with the overdrive. Is this gonna kill? And it is! Leo not out of this yet. If he takes this one, he will be tying things up, making things way harder for Nage. And Nage, man, with the white, the wild assault conversion station, gonna get the wall break. With the overhead. Ah, man. Ooh, and the jungle. With the follow up. Using the freaking spear. Uh, Leo tried to go for a mix right there, but Nage knew what was coming up. Ah, uh, Leo should be able to get the wall break using it in, again the overdrive. It's not gonna kill by any means, but it's gonna put Leo in prime position to try to take it. I suspect that Nage is gonna use the overdrive on wake up. And he does, yeah. Good stuff from Nage. And Leo still manages to take it. Yeah, if I was able to determine that Nage was gonna use the overdrive, I'm 100% sure that Leo already knew. <laughs> Good stuff from Leo, though. Yeah, let's see how this pans out. Okie dokie, and big jump in. Leo tied things up, by the way. Good lord, Leo on the verge of performing a comeback right now. Definitely does not want to go out without a fight. Try to go for the command grab. But man, Nage knew the tendencies of Leo and immediately re-jumped again once he uh, landed. But that is very big for Nage. Oh, Nage with the freaking... Oh, no, that was so sick. No! No, Nage! Why did you... Why did you not finish your plays? That would have been so sick. That's so unfortunate. Anyways, it's fine. It's fine. Nage still got it. Ah, oh, that was sick, man. The bomb freaking juggle was sick. And just like this, man, Nage is on match point on the verge of sending Leo and the losers. And on to the next battle. Here we go with... Ah! Leo with the 2H counter hit. Uh, tries to go for the spear, but man, Ma Nagi knew it. And Nagi goes for a spear of his own. Ah, good stuff from Nagi. He was really, really patient. Got hit by the syringe on his way down, though. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Nagi with the two, the 3K, I, I do believe it was. Ah, uh, man, too far. Yeah. They're both swinging as well. Yeah, this is an honor match right there. Like, the one who loses it, you never want to lose a mirror match. I think losing to a mirror match is the worst way of losing. It's the, the least, like, uh, the, the least, how you say? 
Yeah, it, it's probably the personally the worst way of losing. That being said, yo, 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 Nage got a take. It's sending Leo in the loose bracket three to one. Uh, frames, which made it a counter hit. It's not that he hit, hit the the uh, he counter hit the overdrive. He counter hit the Roman cancel of the overdrive that uh, Nage was doing or that Leo was doing. I, I don't remember who did what. But anyways, here we go. This is Usui Aba. Definitely about to be an interesting match right there. And good lord, yeah, you don't want to be close to Aba when she's in jealousy mode. That being said, here we go back to the normal mode. This is going to be a hell of a hard mountain to climb right there for Usui Aba. He is out of jealousy. Gage. Uh, he has to make, yeah. And for, but fortunately for him, Tatai Tachimawari uh, is actually affected by a negative penalty. So this is the time for Usui, Usui uh, Abba to try to make his way in. And he does. Here we go. The crazy mode has been activated. Oh, and the freaking DP from Katai. Forcing Usui Abba to also... Oh, Lord. Become more aggressive. Ah, oh, no. Too late. No, and just like this, man. Unfortunately for Usui Abba, he did not monitor his jealousy gauge um, diligently enough and unfortunately uh, got sent back to the normal mode before finishing his combo. Good lord. Yeah, this is the big pain, man. Uh, and big combo right there for Katai Tachimawari. You gonna get the wall break? Yes, he does. And on to the next plane of existence. Here we go with Katai Tachimawari. Going for the close-up pressure, wanting to bring in the heat. You see Abba trying to stay alive. Finds the way in. And goes for the Ooh, the cross-up! Big cross-up right there from Usuyaba. Ah, but again, man. Again with Usuyaba. Ooh! Oh man. Oh getting hit by the DP from Tachimawari. Ah, one more hit is all that is required. And Katai found the way in. Getting the first match pretty convincingly, not going to lie. Usiaba probably gonna stick to his guns. And here we go with the driver. Oh, Usiaba forced to pop the burst. Gets the knockdown. Goes for the safe jump. Ah, but gets hit by the freaking DP from Katai. Uh oh. Yeah, man. Abba, for me, is so hard to play. I don't know. I don't. I don't click with the character probably. I'm just not good enough, I guess. But I. I really like her. She's super fun to play. But I just cannot make her work, unfortunately. But she's really, really fun to play though. Woo! Big counter hit right there from Usuyaba. Okay, what's gonna be the follow up? No follow up right there from Katai. Good luck. And you're gonna go with ooh the big DP. But Usuyaba said, "You want a reversal? I have one as well." Here we go with the Donzai. Uh, unfortunately for Usui, Abba jump right in the DP of Katai Tachimori, but gets to jump in and again doesn't have any resources left. But oh no, what is going on? Oh no, and Usui Abba getting the burst bait, and this is the absolute worst case scenario. And Katai manages to steal it back. Thank you very much for the follow, super neat gamer, and welcome to the Brojos. Here we go, Usuyaba finally getting the jump in. Oh man, getting hit by the Hulk Baker though. Ah, oh, Lord. And man, Katai Tachimawa bringing in the heat right now, not gonna lie. Not like this, yes, like this. That was pretty sad, yeah. Good Lord. No! Over it. Okay, nice block. Ah, but man, Usuyaba caught pressing some buttons right there. This should be it, man. Good lord, big driver. Oh yeah, Sin was also one of the top characters that uh, Liffin put in his um, in his tier list on the I've highest. Seen this uh, player is it uh, this first time here as well? I don't remember seeing him in fast running. I don't believe I s we saw him before, but the name does sound familiar though. But I don't think he made it to top eight or on stream uh, previously. But I do remember seeing his name in the tourney before, but we never really saw him on stream either. Okie dokie, and here we go with our now big 6P right there and straight into the Tyrant Brain. Katai getting the heavy knockdown. 
Can I refund my points and <laughs> my points and bet on Abba not Bridget? <laughs> Are you are you insinuating that you do not like Bridget? <laughs> Anyways, here we go with D4 is from Katai uh, Tachimari gets the first round. Oh, his sin is actually pretty sick. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, if you if you manage to pose a problem to Usui Buri, that that already means that you're a good player. I feel. Let's see how this pans out. And Tachimari finding the opening Katai. That is. Oh Lord. Lucy Booty! Trying to find the way in, finds the way in! Can I get the corner carry? Ooh, Lord! Okay, nice punish right there from Lucy Booty! Gonna get for the safe! Gonna go for the- Oh, the safe! Setup! Definitely wary of the DP, does not want to have to deal with it. And yo, Katata Chimawari oh, almost got the overdrive! I sense a DP. <laughs> oh lord! Katai Tachimawari! Sticking to Usui as hard as glue man does not want to let him take any oh distance, but Usui but he managed to take it right at the end. Very nicely done. Okay, let's see if Katai can seal the deal or not. Ah, Lord! Hulk Baker, always here to play for you. Nice grab for Musubuni, that was sick. Definitely wary of the DP, as you can see. Getting Katai Tachimari getting hit right there. Nice stuff from Musubuni with the conversion. Oh, even got the knockdown. Goes, to, yeah, tries to get out of the corner, but man. Katai Tachimari does not want to let up, man. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Look at this. And here we go with the... Oh, big for it. Oh, Lord, you got baited. And just like this, Katai Tachimawari gets the freaking third match as well. Clean three battle. None other than Whip Steven versus Maronchan. Who's going to take it? We shall see. So Steven, extremely strong. A uh, salt player who actually managed to make uh, top 8 on the previous... I do believe it was the uh, Evo... The e e Evolution Japan? I think he made top 8, was it? Or maybe was it the previous Arc Revo of, of last year, I think it was. I don't remember exactly, but extremely strong salt player. Definitely not to be trifled with. Has a lot of very uh, good results in tournament overall. Uh, consistently manages to make top 8 usually, so... Very strong salt player. Uh, so let's see how this turns out. Well, usually you have like very three very strong uh, salt players in Japan. It's obviously Mochi, then you have Steven, you have Roy as well. So yeah, these are really the three strongest uh, salt players. You, have, you, have, you used to have other salt players as well. One named Player, who was really good as well. Uh, you had another one who was... I don't remember exactly, but yeah. You had a lot of very, very good, strong uh, salt players in Japan. Anyways! Uh, Maronchan is definitely not to be trifled with either. He's a strong Kai player. Managed to make top uh, two, actually. So, second place in the previous Rojo Cup against none other than Nage, by the way. So, yeah, very strong Kai player. Definitely not to be underestimated. Or you might get burned or electrocuted in that uh, particular case. A bit on Maron as Steven is still a work in progress. Yeah, Steven is actually pretty strong, though. <laughs> I feel like he's... Uh, He's pretty complete right now, but he doesn't have as much of a like tournament uh, result run as let's say Mochi, but he's actually pretty good. But anyways, here we go with the close-up pressure right there from Steven. Even Steven gets the grab, gonna get the follow-up with the Roman cancel. Ah, work in front. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm I'm very slow for these kinds of stuff. Yeah, but, but that was pretty funny. Maronchan is not... No! Really? Oh, really? Okay. Fukuoka. Okay, okay. Oh, that's cool. So apparently... Uh, not not Fukuoka. I just want to get... I need to Google it. <laughs> good lord. Uh, I suck at kanjis. But good stuff from... Uh, from even Steven actually... Uh, manages to get the uh, first match, and it's, yeah, uh, Tomioka, ne? Tomioka Giyu. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tomioka Giyu. To Tomioka Giyu wa are desu yo ne? Kimetsu no Eiaiba no. 
there apparently uh Moronchan is the number one uh I don't know if you know the Tomioka character from uh Kimetsu no Yaiba, but apparently he's uh he's the embodiment of Tomioka <laughs> from what we're, from what people around him tend to say. So good stuff from uh from Moronchan actually managed to get the first round of the second match. So let's see how this pans out. And he's the number one Japanese Kai. Well, there are a lot of very strong Kai players in uh, Japan as well. And not just Moronchan, but also you have Ain, you have Chulala as well. You have, uh, I think his name is Nine if I'm correct. You have Lozu, Lozu-san as well. Lots of very strong Kai players in Japan as well. Now that I think about it. Anyways, here we go with the wall break. But Moronchan is definitely up there as well. Extremely strong, uh, extremely strong Kai player as well. Okay, and here we go with the wall bounce. Gonna get the wall break. Boom! What's gonna be the Oki? And ooh, Maronchan got hit. Maronchan does have the life lead, but it can go down very, very quickly. Ah, uh, Maronchan tried to go for the snap. Gets hit by the, the DP. Ah, uh, Steven, look out for blood, but gets hit by the forest. And just like this, Maronchan evens the odds out. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. One to one. Very nicely done. And on to the next battle. Good luck. Nice block right there from Moronchan. Almost got hit by the Vortex. And just like this, Moronchan punishing the wake up DP attempt from even. Oh wow, and Steven just freaking letting the standing K out. And look at the freaking juggles left and right from Steven. Goes for the low mix up right after the bended revolver. Ronchan with the direct law. <laughs> Lord, we are playing footsies right now. Oh, you got hit right there. And Steven block and block and getting hit by the stun dipper though. Moronchan with the corner combos. Gets the kill with the DP. And thanks to the wall break, added damage manages to take the first round of this third match. Big trade right there. Steven manages to get the knockdown. That goes for the bandit bringer, but Moronchan just casually walks under him and gets out of the corner just to be put right back in. <laughs> Big Volcanic Viper with the juggle follow up. Yeah, Steven probably gonna go for the. Roman, uh, the wild, the wild assault, I'm sorry. For the hard knockdown, and here we go with the safe jump. Big stun dipper, man, and the meterless one at that. Moronchan knows no fear. Good lord. Big direct claw, and just like this, man, Mar Moronchan evening the odds out. That being said, he does not have any tension bar. Ooh. Ah, man, and dear bar from Steven. Gonna get it. Mighty ride the lightning. That does absolutely no damage. Good lord. Moronchan was on the verge of taking it and gets crapped. No, you hate to see it. Went down to the wire. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. Big close S right there from Moronchan with. Oh, good lord. Ah, uh, drops the combo though, right at the end. Goes for the extension station using the wild assault. Ah, uh, Miss Times is meaty though. That was unfortunate. Okay, no entire right there. Thankfully for the Roman cancel, though he didn't get punished. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, Lord. Here we go to Fudra Dark. And it's gonna be wall break for you. Using the sacred edge. Yeah, right, the lightning does no damage. Like. I, I wonder if uh, Sacred Edge doesn't do more damage than that, because that was ridiculous. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Even Eno does more damage than that. With her, um, uh, with her, uh, Overdrive, that is. That being said, here we go. Moronchan taking the lead 2 to 1. Who exactly at our system, uh, went, Red the Lightning does too much damage. <laughs> what was wrong with them? Yeah, I can understand that. I need to go look up the damage values in the sloop. Yeah, you should, you should. I'm pretty sure her Fortissimo does more damage. Uh, her Megalomania uh, for sure does more damage, obviously. But the Fortissimo, I, it wouldn't surprise me if it did more damage than the Red the Lightning. That was ridiculous damage right there. Good lord. And here we go with Moronchan and the Wall Break. Mm. 
and Steven getting the kill thanks to the revolver catching the bag dasher right there. In combination with the Roman Council made it so that he could extend the combo and get the kill. Ooh, big one. That was a courageous for us. Courageous for us. That paid off, by the way. But Steven is put right back in the corner. Only to find his way with a jump in. Counter hit. Over Moronchan trying to take a throw. Oh, Lord. Okay, Moronchan trying to meet Steven in the air, but Steven doesn't want to see any of this. Ah, Moronchan getting a mix right there. Higher low. Very good, Steven. Forcing Moronchan to pop a, a, a Roman cancel. Yellow, a yellow Roman cancel. Oh, big jump in. Not gonna be enough. Too far for the direct claw. Ooh, the standing K. Still gets hit by the revolver. Not enough to kill, though. One more hit. And Steven going for the schnapsy grab for the kill. Steven even this Steven evens things up. Even Steven. <laughs> Ties things up. Two to two. Who's gonna take this one and send the other one home? We shall see. Good lord. Here we go the Ah big bandit bringer. And the trade. Ronchan really trying to fight for his life out of the corner. Oh man, the trade, and unfortunately for Maron, Sean got his DP baited. This is gonna do a ton of damage, probably not gonna kill though, but. That's pretty nice damage though. Buffoneer! Ah man. Ah, it's even, man, getting the kill with this freaking 6 HS out of every single move. Yo, okay, Maron, Sean. Opening his opponent up. He's gonna get the wall break. Guard knockdown. Goes for the save jump. Gets hit by the reverse counter. Uh, by the reversal. Okay, Moronchan definitely noticing that Steven wants uh, Moron to waste his meter by Roman canceling his stun dipper. But Moronchan noticing this and not committing to any stun dipper anymore. Fortunately for him, got hit by the. Uh, the bend bringer and here we go with the corner combo Ronchan might want to burst nah he won't he didn't have time and the bandit revolver again man Moronchan waking up freaking are you serious that was sick and we're going down to the wire last round of the last match who is gonna send the other one out of the tournament we shall see bit bandit bringer but Moronchan with the whiff punish gets the forest into a full combo, into wall break. Yes, indeed. Sacred edge, indeed. Oh! And Steven wake him up with the DP. Oh, nope. Steven with the forest, find the opening. Yeah, Steven against uh, the opening with the wild assault. Straight into the tyrant rave. Rave! Otakua, you know that? Who gets to jump in? Things are looking pretty bleak, but the wake up DP! Moronchan's still alive! This is gonna be, uh, yeah, yeah. What's gonna be the wake up? Steven gonna wake up with something. Or not? No! Oh, but still gets the far. Wait, wait, wait. No, oh, no! Steven! Steven, Steven! Oh, gets the 2D for the kill! Moronchan, he. Final. And here we go, Leo versus what? Katai Tachimaori, okay. Oh, okay, so Katai, I do remember this player. I do remember, his, yeah, his name is Katai, he does play Sin, but I remember him through his use of Leo, actually. That's the reason why. And uh, yeah, let's see how his Leo pans out against Faust. Oh, again, here we go with Katai Tachimori getting the hard knockdown. How is that gonna go? We shall see. Let's go, Leo. Which one, Karu? Which one? <laughs> Leo the character or Leo the player? <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the jump in by Leo on Leo. And Leo getting the command grab. Forcing the wig on Leo. Leo getting the explosion of the wig while Leo gets the 
corner carry into the overdrive. <laughs> Are you annoyed yet? <laughs> Anyways, here we go with Leo getting the overdrive. Gonna get the hard knockdown. <laughs> Let's go, Leo, but nobody bet on Katai, so that's free point for me if he wins. Exactly, that's how you should... That You need to always be positive, whatever the outcome. Nice stuff from Leo. Uh, that being said, here we go. Nice block. Leo getting the mix, mix, mix. We go with Katai. Trying to get the corner pressure. Gets the tab dust. Straight into the Roman cancel for extension. Oh, unfortunately for him, he got none. Not only jumped on, but then reset with the command grab. Too far from the corner, though. Ah, Katai Tachimauri finally getting something. Gonna go for it. Oh, the big shot. Nice grab from Leo. Gonna get the... Oh, yeah, the kill with the... Come in, grab first match goes to Leo. I'll be right back, guys. Okie dokie and Katai actually managing to get the first round of this uh, of the second match. Oh good lord, big 2D counter it and Leo with the confirms gets. Wow, got the fuzzy, that was sick and even got the fully charged lance. Did not want to get the corner break though, which is understandable. Man, Katai Tachi Maori, that was sick. No, oh, the wait is out. No oh, big DP from Katai Tachimari. Not out of this yet. Uh, that was strange. Big 6P. Oh, now you did it. Good stuff from Leo. Gets the second round of this first map. Of the second map. <clears throat> Here we go. Ooh. Okay, no 6P right there. Ooh, little Faust is here to play. Leo finding the opening with the dive. The Dalsim dive even gets the command grab him. <sighs> Big wake up DP, man. Ooh, but the meteors were there to cover the follow-up. Ah, this is gonna be death right there. <laughs> ah, Leo is awesome there, man. <laughs> Leo's <-san. laughs> There you go with Leo again. And on to the next match. There you go in the neutral. Katai Tachimori does not want to overextend. Uh. Yeah, you can see like Leo respecting a little bit more. Uh, yeah, respecting a little bit more the character of, of Katai. Probably more afraid of, of Sin's DP than the DP of Leo. Ah, uh, nice confirm from Katai. That was sick. Here we go with the Hog Baker and Walwick. Oh Lord, big 6 P and gets the OTG kill. Very nicely done for Katai. And on to the next battle. Oh Lord, big Hog Baker like there, right there from Katai. Goes for another one, gets the counter, uh, the counter hit. Lord! That, I do not know how you could see. We go with the overhead, but man, ah, uh, Leo, man. Staying strong, but there's only so many moves you, uh, so many pressure you can take. And this should be it, actually. Tachi Mawari, man. Finally puts one on the board. One to two. Are we going to see a comeback? We shall see. Okie dokie, Brits and Cookie. Big 6 spear right there from Katai Tashimauri. Catches the backdash from Leo. Oh, Lord. But yeah, Little Faust is activated. And Leo definitely knew it. Goes for the command grab. 
You go for the jump in. That backdash, though. The backdash from of Sin is actually pretty good. Good lord. Okie dokie, and here we go with the close up pressure. Again with the command grab. Katai has spent all. Oh! Nice punish from Leo. I uh, guess grab though you hate to see it. I knew it. I knew that there was gonna be a hero burst. Oh no, you hate to see it. Uh Leo not giving up. Gonna get the wall break and the kill. <laughs> Good stuff from Leo on set point. That I absolutely needs to win this one in the next if he wants to stay in the Well in the tournament. Okay, big counter hit right there from Kat Katai Tachimaori. Gotta get the wall break. That's the first time I've seen uh, a super item throw a wall break like that. Yeah, me too. I think he got hit by the, the what's it called? The hammer. Big perfect right there from Katai. Definitely not out of this yet. <clears throat> yeah, the food for the flags. Yeah. <laughs> big 6 p. Ah, I'm trying to hit Leo, man, out of the air. I uh, guess the back dash. Things are looking pretty bleak for Leo, not gonna lie. He took offense to that super item 3. Yeah, he definitely did. He took it personally. <laughs> he definitely took it personally. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. And Katai Tachimawari sniffing the burst out and should be able to get the kill. Damn! Why didn't Katai use Sin from the beginning? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why you should have done this, man? Because if he loses this, like, it's gonna be so, so sad. Oh, Lord. Nice block from Katai. Doesn't want to overextend. Ooh, big counter hit right there in favor of Leo. Oh, big 2D counter hit. And Leo got the weight. The weight of the world in his stomach. Oh, Lord, Katai with the conversion. That was sick. Big corner carry, too. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, this is death. Yes, it is. And we are back on set point. Is Leo going to be able to seal the deal? We shall see. And again with the jump in, man. Katai Tachimaori having some issues right there. Oh, and the spacing. Big GP though, wake up from Katai. Ooh, Tachimaori. Oh, Lord. Thankfully for him, he didn't... Ooh, he went under it? Is that even possible? That's crazy. Here we go with the Tyrant Rave. Yo, Katai is back in business, yo. But gets hit by the freaking Baghdad. Ah, 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 ah. It might be it. It is it. And Leo eliminates Katai out of the tournament. Leo moves on and stays alive. 3-2 to two, went down to the wire as well, man. Very good stuff. <laughs> so apparently, yeah, Maroon Chan beat uh, TY in a recent tournament. So this is not... Maroon Chan is actually uh, a threat to TY. And it's not, it's not surprising because Maroon Chan is so good. He's a very good player. So let's see how this pans out. Here we go, and already Moronchan got the knockdown. Nice blocks from TY. Ah, uh, gonna get the knockdown with the Sukiyaki. Three into the Ototoi, come on! Boom! Okay, TY gonna get the knockdown, goes for the save jump. Ah, uh, here we go, Ooh, Ben Moronchan just popping the DP right into the Sukiyaki, man. And here we go with Maroncha almost getting in tired right there. Oh lord! Maroncha fishing for them tech attempts. Ooh, big! Oh lord, that move, man. That's a freaking wall right there. Good lord. Good stuff from TY gets the kill. Here we go with the knockdown. TY going for the safe jump. But gets hit by the wake up DP from Maroncha. TY again with the knockdown. Ah, but man, Maroonshan is so good with his decision making when it comes to using the DP, man. Always right on on time, man. 
really hard to... Uh, he almost never got baited. Ah, well, <laughs> commentator's curse, I guess. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Good stuff from T.Y. gets the first pack. Commentator's curse. Okay, first match goes to Maroon. No, uh, it goes to T.Y. Hmm. Let's see how this spins out. The big Derek Claret there. Again, man, Maroon Shan trying to get to go deep for the grab, but T.Y. sniffing it out. Yeah. Maroon Shan has yet to find a real answer to the jumping, uh, to the J2K of, uh, of T.Y. Big Alpha Blade. Yeah. And T.Y. with the freaking confirm straight into the overdrive. And again with the Sukiyaki. Wow. T.Y. using the momentum of the Sukiyaki to travel across the, the screen straight towards Moron and punishing him. For backdashing a wee bit too much. There we go. Moron trying going for the meaty. T.Y. recognizing it. Tried to steal his turn, but unfortunately for him, Maronchan find the gap. Was able to take his turn back right away. Big 6p from Maronchan gets the kill with the direct luck. And on to the next battle. We go to Sun Edge. TY man, not afraid. Just run straight up. Ah, I think he messed up his uh his setup. But it's still fine, he's got the 6 HS, I believe it is. <laughs> Big freaking Suki. Oh, okay, Maroon trying to find the opening. Goes for the juggle. Too far from the corner, though, to get the wall break. And man, TY still pressing buttons there. Ah, uh, how does TY know? So here we go with T.Y. going with the Roman Cancel extension for the kill. Yeah, that's that's right there. Here we go. T.Y. up 2-1. to one, Dude, 2-0 to zero actually. Ronchan still sticking to his guns. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Yeah, T.Y. making good use of the... Uh, is it the 4 HS? From Chip, I think it is. Making very good use of the 4 HS, man. Acting like a wall to prevent Moonchunt from extending his hurt box a little bit too much. And TUI getting the kill. We are on set point, ladies and gentlemen. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. TUI again, not afraid of getting straight in front of Moonchunt, man. Not afraid of that blade at all. And here we go with the Ototoy Kano! Ototoy Kano. <laughs> Why does he say this? That's super funny. Though. But anyway, here we go again with the 6 HS counter hit. And Maron Chan with the corner pressure. Gets the grab. Goes for the delayed overhead and Ooh, that was that was pretty scary. Ah, but man, TY with the confirm. Oh, gets hit by the jump in, yo. Maronsha not that not out of it yet. Perfect. That's good to see. Come on, Maron, do your best. Yeah, Maronsha got the knockdown. Gets hit by TY's wake up DP. And Maronsha answers in do. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Nice confirm right there from Roncha. Still has a wee bit more to go if he wants to get the kill. Okay, yeah, TY in rushdown mode, but gets hit by the wake up DP from Roncha. Roncha up one. Still not. 
still not it. It's still not sufficient to send TY out of the tournament. That being said, it is not over till it's over. Okay, here we go with the knockdown. TY straight into the overdrive. Was it gonna be the mix? Safe jump. Big forest counter hit. And TY with the wall combo is gonna get the kill. Very nicely done. Dai Shokun! Here we go with TY getting the freaking juggle, forcing Ronchan to pop the burst. TY again with the entire amount. And Moron again with the wake up DB. Moronchan nice, going pretty deep right there in order to get the knockdown. Forcing TY to pop the burst. That being said, TY is on match point. Got the confirm into the overdrive. And TY trying to go for an ambiguous jump in. Ended out. Uh, Opening the opponent, getting the overdrive. Here we go with the safe jump, and this should be it. Yeah. Nice bait from TY. On point with the baits, takes it. Um, what am I talking about? Jig Nage versus Whip Moogie. Let's see how this pans out. And I need to go take a, a glass of water. I'll be right back. Okay, and here we go. Oh, Moogie going straight through the... Straight through the... How do you call it? The Spear of Nagi using the White Wild Assault. Getting the kill with the Wall Break. Here we go on to the second round. Ah, Moogie trying to go for... Trying to snap right now and trying to get the, uh, the command grab. Unfortunately for him, Nagi was aware of it. Managed to punish accordingly and get the corner positioning. Goes for the juggle using the weight straight into the overdrive for the kill. Not the kill, for the, the hard knockdown. You should get a picture, you are totally right. <laughs> I actually have one, I always forget to to uh, to fill it and then put it in the fridge to make it the fresh. Okay, good stuff from Nage. Here's the second round. Oh man, Nage getting the hit with the the what's called the um the hammer. And Nage trying to find the opening, but man, Lugi staying very strong, but getting hit by the spear just as I say it. Nice block right there from Mugi on the verge of getting six speed. That being said, Mugi does have an almost full bar uh, of blood, which is actually pretty bad for him. Since he might oh lord that freaking blue Roman cancel instead overhead combo. That is crazy. Good stuff from Nage against the wall break. So this spins out. Ah, <laughs> Nage inputting the motion of the uh, the scarecrow to make it seem uh, to Nage that he was about to do it. Now that being said, let's get this spins out. Nage having to deal with the white wild assault. Ah, that being said, ah, Mugi's gonna explode. It's over. Yeah. Okay, good stuff from Nage. Nage taking the first round, the first match, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so let's see how Mugi is going to deal with this. Again with the White Wild Assault, forcing Nage man to be aware of it, to fear it. Yeah, barely enough tension, you know. Let's see how this spins out. Nice to us right there from Nage. Naga just content to get as many items as possible. Now 
And here we go, Nagi with the reset using the command grab. Gonna put some fire to that wig. Again, goes for the, yeah, the instant overhead. Not enough to kill though, yo. You serious? But still, Nagi gets the kill with the dive. On to the next battle. Ah, Nagi is sniffing the white wild assault this time around. Getting Medio and the fully charged Scarecrow, so it's still his turn. Man, nice six spear there from Mugi. Punishing the use of the spear. Ah, uh, goes for the white wild assault. Catches Nagi trying to jump out of pressure. Getting a full corner carry combo. And Nagi, man, trying to jump out, but getting sniffed out by Mugi. And Mugi should be able to take this one. Yes, he does. Okay, one round apiece. Who's gonna take it? Here we go to jump in. Mugi. Ah, getting the hit with the Beyblade. And it. No, drops it. This was not the good timing to, to drop something. This, things are looking a little bit bleak, not gonna lie. And I like that Mugi took all of his time to wait for the bomb to explode right before it exploded and sending it back to uh, Nagi so he doesn't have the time to to hit it and send it back. That was pretty sick. That being said, Mugi is really down on life right there. Gets hit by the, the spear and Lil Faust finishes the job. What is gonna happen? We shall see. And oddly enough, we did not see a character change for Mugi, even though this matchup is probably not in favor of Nago, I guess. Probably not. But I can definitely see Nago struggling in this matchup, especially since when Faust just decides to to not interact with you at all. <laughs> just send items in your general direction. That being said, look at this. Nage with... Uh, ooh, wow. Just in time to block, not get hit by the bomb, and still w w break the wall. Uh, and Nage, yeah, confirming that Mugi would not use his burst. Instead, uses the overdrive to get the kill. Good stuff from Nage. And this is a set point. Let's see if. Mugi is going to be able to bring it back, or if Nage is going to make his way to the Grand Finals. We shall see. Ah, big sweep right there from Nage. Ah, Nage getting hit by the weight. Big Beyblade from Mugi. Doesn't want to overextend. Well, cannot overextend, or else he's going to explode. Ah, Lord. Yeah. Ah, so hard right there. Ah, Mugi getting the jump in, but the cavalry was here to prevent him from getting anything else from it. This is heartbreaking. Ah, and here we go, Little Faust is out to play. Ah, again, Little Faust. Ah, things are looking super bleak, man, I'm not gonna lie. If Mugi, like, brings it back, he's a god. Ah, man, and Nagi reading that Mugi was gonna 6p him. Back to neutral. Ah, man, and Mugi and Nage just teleporting right before behind the Mugi. Oh, okay. Ah, the wig is on fire. This should do, yeah. He's gonna do. Good stuff from Nage. It takes it a clean three to make their way to the loser's final against none other than Mugi. And then fight their uh, way in order to have a chance to fight Nage in the grand final. We shall see. Okie dokie, TY sticking with Sol. Ah, getting the forest right there. Ah, forcing Leo to pop the burst. Ooh, Lord getting scooped by the forest. Great to see it. Ah, man. There we go. TY with the bandit. Goes for the mix ups, man. Gonna get the wall break. Oh man, that's 6p, man. I could, I could freaking feel it in my guts. 
Yeah, Nico Tisblair. Yeah, Leo is uh, is actually 192 centimeters tall, so one meter and 92 centimeters. He's actually super, super freaking tall. I have no idea how much it is in feet, though. It is six, six foot, six foot three, six foot four, I guess. Probably. Anyways, here we go with the closest counter hit, and Leo getting the corner carry. Ooh, big bandit bringer. Unfortunately for him, got punished by Leo. Man, T.Y. with the call out on the freaking Scarecrow. Still manages to get the wall break. He's working pretty bleak for Leo. Uh, Leo getting hit. And bursting right at the end. But I mean, that was, uh, yeah, that was this, this right there. That was like a burst safe route anyway. So good stuff for T.Y. takes the first match. Let's see if he can continue this trend and eventually... Take it all, we shall see. Oof. Two are trying to get the wall, the, the grab, the air grab. And here we go with the cavalry to save Leo's butt. Leo going straight for the overdrive. And man, T.Y. getting hit by the overdrive. Okay, good stuff from Leo. Got the forest. Waited just in case TY was gonna go for a burst. And got him with the OTG uh, overhead. Good stuff. That being said, Samurai TY is bringing the heat. Gets the vortex with the wall break. Oh, and Leo definitely on point when it comes to punishing empty. Jumps right there. Going straight for the grab. Ooh, big 2S counter hit. And Leo not only gets the corner position, he also had the cavalry, but the cavalry didn't have enough time to come out. Here we go with the corner with the bandit revolver mix. Yeah, Leo doesn't want to overextend yet. The I guess the hit, but the mix, mix, mix. Oh, still gets the follow up and the conversion from the mix, mix, mix using the Roman cancel. This is pretty cool. Good stuff from Leo. He has the second match. And on to the next battle. See how this spins out. Nice block right there. Ooh, big hit. Forcing Leo to pop the burst. And Rugo with the close up pressure. Big Ben did revolver. Oh, T.Y. getting hit by the counter hit. Oh, Leo managing to get the cavalry and also the corner freaking pressure. The corner carry was sick. Straight into the overdrive for the uh, hard knockdown and the damage. Ah, that was some pretty decent damage too. Ah, again, man. T.Y. getting hit by that freaking that. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be the, uh, the follow up. Uh, nice bandit revolver goes for the full combo. Ah, uh, Leo. Ah, uh, going for the low. TY not ready. And again, man, TY getting hit by the low. Man, Leo bringing it back. That was actually pretty sick, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go with Leo just content to throw items out. Almost, yeah. Unfortunately for him, got grabbed right before the bomb exploded. And beautiful backdash right there from Leo. Making uh, the far S of TY whip. In which case, uh, Leo used the grab in order to get the side switch. Straight for the overdrive. <laughs> Okie dokie, what's gonna be the wake up? DPA? Or not? 
Oh, Lord. And Leo with the freaking side switch. Oh, man. Too, a little bit too, far, too late to get the, the OTG. Would have gotten the kill. And TY, man, finds the opening. With the closest counter hit. He definitely wants the burst. But Leo's not going to give it to him. Leo was so close to getting it, too. That was so unfortunate. We have a perfect tie now. One match and one round each. With the bend bringer. Big Bandit Bringer yet again. Leo finally forcing T.Y. to pop the burst. <laughs> Both did not want to deal with the bomb. And T.Y. with the confirm right there. Didn't quite get uh, the full punish though. Here's the knockdown. Nice big chunk of damage right there for T.Y. Doesn't get the hard knockdown though. And does have the wick. Oh, the wick is gone just as I talk. Ah, Leo, man, trying to go for the command grab. Woo! Ah, Lord. Leo getting jumped on, unfortunately, for TY. He missed time his meaty. I tried to go for the conversion using the Wild Assault to get a continuation and oh, oh no, not like this. Leo got sold. Good stuff from TY. Taking the lead 2-1. to one. Oh lord. We go with TY. Getting the shimmy. Yeah, TY definitely, definitely letting loose now. Okay, here we go with the bandit. Leo getting the safe jump. Absolutely wanting to get the opening right there. Ah, Leo. Getting hit by the bandit bringer. Is this death? Ah, no, it's not. But it might be now. No, it's not. Oh, and Leo. No! Leo! What the hell? That was sick! That was so sick. The game of teleport was sick right there from Leo. Still managing to stay alive. A big forest right there for TY. Ah, getting the air grab as well. TY with the vortex. And here we go with TY on set point. On the verge of sending Leo out of the tournament. Yes, the four chest. And Leo with the perfect spacing right there. Oh, catching the back dash with the spear overhead. Again with the bandit revolver. And TY gonna get the hard knockdown. Again with the knockdown. And TY sending Leo out of the tournament with the freaking Tyrant Rave. So this is the loser's final. Whip Moogie versus TY. So Moogie sticking with his guns. I do believe that the first time they fought against each Oh yeah, I remember. They fought in the, the winner's bracket together. And Moogie was actually the one who sent... Uh, TY in the loser's bracket and at the moment um, when they fought each other in the winner's bracket TY was using salt so this time around TY is going with chip potentially to try to uh, see if it works better than the salt matchup and for now I have to say it's actually working pretty good and here we go with the counter hit though but chip does have very very low low uh, low health one bad yeah iteration uh, yeah one more combo is all that is needed for Mugi to actually take it but TY was the one who made it in the end very nicely done here we go to close up pressure 
Moogie getting the knockdown right there, but it's pretty hard to like swing normals against Chip because Chip is so freaking so freaking quick. Can just run up to you and just whiff punish you. But I'm saying just but then again it's not that easy, but yeah, it's the mental stack that Chip uh, forces you to go through that is uh, the, the biggest point, in, especially in this matchup, I suppose, where Nagoriyuki is... His normals are relatively slow, so it it probably is an uphill battle for him, I suppose. But then again, like, if Nagoriyuki opens you and your chip, you're dead in, like, two, in two combos, so yeah. Good news, here we go with the Wasuriyuki for the hard knockdown. Let's see. Ah, Moogie trying to go for the jump in. Gets hit by the Alpha Blade. Oh, look. Here we go to Yellow Roman Cancel. Moogie getting hit by the White Wild, uh, white, ah, white wild Assault. Straight into the Ototoy combo. Here we go to Safe Jump. Going to using the Beta Blade. The Gamma Blade. Oh, Lord. wow, what a combo. What a combo. Dai Shogu! <laughs> Good stuff from TY gets the first round, the first match, actually. TY looking very good right now, not gonna lie. That being said, TY out of burst right now. Uh, and TY finding the gap. Goes for Alpha Blade. Goes for another Alpha Blade. And another one. Good stuff from... Damn, man. See why everything's coming in. Big 6 speedo for Mugi. And if Mugi opens you up, it's... For way more damage than what you did. Nice command grab. Mugi going in hot. Ah, forcing T.Y. to pop the yellow room and cancel. And... Ah, uh, Lord. Nice back dash from uh, Mugi. And gets the kill with the OTG. Okay, Mugi not out of this yet. Big counter hit right there for TY. On the 2D. Uh, but gets counter hit himself by the Beyblade. Uh, Mugi, unfortunately, I do believe did not want the side swatch. The side, the side swap. What the hell is the side swatch? Here we go to fall. Wow. Nice confirm right there from TY going straight for the grab. Goes for another one. Wow! Big air to air in favor of Moogie. Moogie going straight for the kill. Good stuff. Okay, Moogie, Moogie evening things up one to one. Let's see if TY can as well. TY getting hit by the close S. And here we go with the knockdown. T.Y. getting hit by the far chest. Nice punish right there from T.Y. And here we go with the combo. T.Y. with the bonsai for the wall break. Plus for the jump in. And gonna get hit right there. Yeah. Is that, yeah, he has the, he's gonna Roman cancel into the kill. Bye bye. Good stuff from Moogie. Mm. Okay, Moogie looking pretty good. Oh man, and Moogie, man, not afraid to whip, to let it rip, man. Good stuff. Uh, Moogie trying to bait the, the DP. Fortunately for him. Uh, uh, a little bit far, no? Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, uh, that's not good. That was so unfortunate. Moogie had the correct read, but he was just too far for the overdrive to connect. <laughs> okay, yeah, and yeah, you have to take it, you have to take it. Good lord. Ah, not enough to kill. Live to fight another day. And Moogie getting hit by the tab does. Good stuff from TY. 
Let's hear this spins out. That being said, Mugia's not out of this yet. Gonna get the corner curve. Rokamo gets the bait on the DP. Straight into the Wasure Yuki. This is gonna do a ton of damage. Big wake up DP right there from TY. Here we go to close up pressure. White Wild Assault. TY holding strong. Absolutely does not want to lose this one. Gets the grab in. Al goes for the command grab this time. Just do it. Just do it. Ah, man. TY had the opening, but yeah. Oh, and this is gonna kill. I'm not even sure. It is okay. I wasn't 100% sure, to be honest. This, this move does so little damage that you can't really tell for sure if it's gonna kill or not. Okay, back to the neutral. You are getting the knockdown. Straight into the overdrive. Oh, totally come on! We're going to jump in. TY definitely looking pretty good now, not gonna lie. Close for the grab, and this should do, yeah. One more chance for Mugi to stay in the corner. Uh, <laughs> to stay in the corner. To stay in the tournament. Definitely does not want to stay in the corner, I believe. Oh, Lord. Mugi just letting it whip. And TY trying to find the gaps. Gets it himself by Moogie. Moogie with... Oh, almost got... Oh, it's still fine. He's got a command grab. And it's... Banana time. No, it's not. Good lord. And T.Y., man. He's bringing it back, yo. Al goes for the bonsai. The wall break. T.Y. is definitely feeling himself right now. Alpha braid. Or not. He goes... Yeah, but wait. Oh, lord. One more burst. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mugi had to go for it, he had to, just had to. Big 6P right there for Mugi. Okay, you're in my world now, bitch. Here you go, you're in the corner. Good lord. And Mugi finding the opening right there with the back Fukio. Ah, boom! Getting the 6H for the wall break. Ah, lord. But T.Y. not out of this yet. Yes, the command grab and we're going down to the last game, guys. Moogie evening things up. Let's see how this pans out. Who's going to take it? We shall see. Good lord. Nice. Confer wow, that combo, though. Too bad the last hit didn't hit. Ah, T.Y. though. Oh, T.Y. Too, too low. No! Ah, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Lucky Mugi. Mugi was so lucky on this one, though. Here we go to Sukiyaki. Ah, oh, man. T.Y. getting the counter hit. It's going straight into Ototo. Come on. Yeah, T.Y. relentless, man. He definitely wants his shot at Grand Finals against Nage. Let's see if Mugi is gonna let him have his say or not. Oh man, big sweep right there. Okay, Mugi finding the opening. Gets a command grab. Gonna get the wall break. We're going down to the last freaking round, maybe? That wouldn't surprise me. Ah, la, 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 la. Nope. Oh, and the trade in favor of Mugi. We are going down to the last round of the last match, ladies and gentlemen. Who's going to take it? Mugi going with the wild, wild assault. Oh, gets the bait on the DP. This is huge. TY uh, getting the opening. Goes for the alpha bullet. 
Goes for another one. Goes for the cross up. And the Suki. Ah, that was an unfortunate backdash. Things are looking very bleak. Ooh, that was close. Wow, here we go with the jump in. Ah. Uh, Qua. Why? I'm pretty freaking. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Is, is it over? Oh, it's not enough. Good lord. What's the okie though? Oh, and the low for the kill. That was so close. I really. Oh. On the left side, the winner side, we have uh, Jigunage. On the right side, loser side, we have none other than Oni Chiwai. Who's gonna win the 104th Broja Cup tonight? We shall see in a couple of minutes. Everybody's probably eager to go to sleep as well, as it's starting to get a little bit late here. But hopefully, uh, this is not going to affect their performance. It surely doesn't seem like it has, so it's perfect. Anyways, here we go. On to uh, the match, and Nage getting the hard knockdown with the overdrive. See how this spins out. We go to close S, and Nage getting the getting the uh, the bait on the DP. Very nicely done. See how this spins out. Okay, nice bar right there. Nage getting the knockdown goes for the. Ah, um, Lord. Oh, Lord, that was a big six HS. But. Nage is not out yet. Ah, I guess the mix, 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 and the freaking conversion using the, the cavalry. <clears throat> Let's see how this spins out. Good confirm right there from Nage, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Gets the first match relatively quickly. Good lord. Here we go. And on to the next battle. Okay, she went with the Gamma Blade right there, but Nage actually using the reverse field in order to push T.Y. out. Ah, uh, nice punish right there from T.Y. Nage getting the entire... Little Faust is out. Ah, oh, good lord. Good command grab right there from Nage. Goes for the safe jump. Gets the fire on the wig. Nage backdashing a wee bit too much. Gets hit by the wig explosion. And this should be it. Nage, man. Nage the god. <laughs> this dude's so freaking strong with Faust. It's crazy. Anyways, here we go with the spear. Oh, and Nage punishing the jumping 2D. Gets the punish. Also, oh lord. That being said, here we go with T.Y. Wow, that was pretty cool. Ah man, Nage tri oh, okay, whoa, the burst came right in time. Nage getting the dive and the trumpet. Ah man, that's unfortunate. Tried to go for something super fancy. Yeah, Nage trying to bait the DP and still manages to get the kill. Good lord, Nage up 2-0. to zero. Is this going to be a straight 3-0? That is crazy, yo. Nage out of this world. Yo. You guys better keep an eye on Nage. Seriously, for uh, Evo Japan. You definitely should keep an eye on him. He is definitely a contender to take it this year. I'm not even capping. Nobody is ready for Nage. Nobody. It's crazy. He's been... He won the last World Drill Cup. He won the tournament. The team... Uh, did he win the team tournament yesterday? I think he did. Now, Nage is really, really... like. He's on a freaking winning streak these days. You, you better look for him on at uh, Evo Japan. He's gonna rock your shit, like seriously. Anyways, good stuff right there. TY's not out of this yet though. Definitely taking this one there. Here we go with the Meteor. <laughs> and the wait. Yeah, TY definitely looking a little bit lost, not gonna lie. Here we go with the Gamma Blade. Here we go, the blocks. Ah, man. Nice recognition right there from TY. That Nagu is going to go for the follow up mix, mix, mix right after his slide. Ah, nice command grab. Things are looking pretty good. Oh, good lord. 
How are you supposed to not get hit by this? Nah, a nice yellow room cancel. And Nage with the mix, mix, mix. We are on match point. Nage didn't drop a single match, yo. The hell? And there were killers today. There were so many killers, yo. What the hell? Nage looking super confident. Uh, here we go with the trumpet. Not too far to get the grab. Ooh, okay, nice recognition right there. TY just going straight under. Getting the... Yeah. Oh, straight into the overdrive. Oh, so, so, come on! Yeah, let's see, let's see. It's not over, it's not over. Ooh. Oh! Oh, get low! I still got hit! Ah, oh, nice tick pressure from TY. Nice and bar. Still got hit by the dive. No, uh, wake up DP. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Ah, okay, okay. It's not okay. TY is not out. TY is not out. TY is putting one on the table. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, two to one, two to one. I knew I was gonna wake up with a DP there. I knew it. I freaking knew it. <laughs> I smell it. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. On to the next battle. Nice stuff from TY. Checking there. Checking the scarecrow with the standing peak. He. Nah. Oh, get okay, nice with punish from TY. From Nugget. Little Faust is out. And here, wow, that was sick. The juggle, but TY using the Roman cancel to get the extension and far away from the bomb. Okay, two tension bars though. Oh, ah, TY getting the follow. Oh lord, TY bringing it back. Ah, too far from the corner though. Gets the standing K for the kill. Here we go with the jumping 2D. Nagi with the bar getting rid of the clone. Ah, things are definitely shifting right now. QI definitely controlling the pace of the game. We might see a, a reset, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, and TY with the confirm. Ah, nice stuff. Okay, finally. Here we go, Nugget. Getting the golf in. Haha. <laughs> ah, Lil Faust is out. But too far. <laughs> Nugget using Lil Faust to cover his approach. Ah, this is death. Yeah. Good stuff from TY. Evening things out. Are we going to see a reset? Good lord, if that's the case, it would be pretty crazy, not going to lie. Let me just get ready if that's the case. And here we go with the wall break. T.Y. man, T.Y. looking very strong, man. The tide of the freaking the, the momentum is all in T.Y.'s favor, really. Okay, Nage finally getting uh, countered. Into the mix, mix, mix. Uh, and T.Y. with the freaking jump in. T.Y. on match point. If he wins this one, he will reset the bracket. Nice 2S counter hit right there from Nugget. Again with the 2D man. Getting the mix 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 in for the corner carry. Good lord. Ah, the cavalry is here. Saving Nugget. Little Faust is here. No one there. Ah, but Little Faust has been triggered. Ah, Nugget looking pretty good now though. And here we go with T.Y. Ah, Nage should be able to take it. Okay, we are on 
both match point. So reset point and tournament point. So let's see how this pans out. Who's going to take it? We shall see. It. Ah, this is okay. Ah, man, nice bar from Nage. Still get the entire. Good lord. Ah, Nage getting. Ah, this is bad. Here we go with uh, the jump in, but now nah, I get the TY with the Abari healing his turn back. Here we go with the jump in. Ah, and this is probably death, yeah. And the bracket has been reset by. The rest is fine. Okie dokie, breads and cookie, grand final. This and reset here. Okay, we're good. And Nage finally losing a set tonight. He's been extremely solid all night long, so yeah. It's actually a, a very. Yeah, we have the reset! And here we go, the wall break! Good lord. And TY man with the freaking wall. Wall bounce into the kill. Big 6 HS counter hit. Forcing Nuggets pop the burst. Yeah, TY looking very, very strong right now. Nice blocks. That being said, Nugget is still in block land. S2, yeah, S2 endure. Ah. Uh, Nage finally getting open. We're going to jump in. And man, TY taking the lead now. 1 to 0. Good lord. That is pretty crazy. Things look so good for Nage during the first two matches. And then at the third one, everything turned south. Wonder what changed that much. Big jump in right there from TY. Getting the wall bounce, forcing the burst from Nage. Here we go with the Daimyo. Gonna get the wall carry. The corner there, I'm sorry. And the wall break. Oh lord. TY using the OS to not get put off by the uh roaming cancel overdrive well the overdrive roaming cancel from Klaus. big wake of dp ah almost got the juggle too ah uh, yeah <laughs> yo i was afraid of the uh the burst i guess but anyways still got it yo i looking so strong now good lord the adaptation of this fan you're gonna go with the knockdown you are with the Gamma Blade again with the Far HS. Straight into the Ototo, come on. With the jump in, and this. Oh, Lord. Nagis. Burst has been baited. This is really not a good sign. What is Nagi gonna do? And on to potentially the last set of tonight. The last match of tonight, actually. Here we go with TY. Okay, now I get finally getting something starting. Here we go with the Alpha Blade to get out of the corner. Good lord, the counter hits. And man, we are gonna go to tournament point. A straight 3 0? Are you serious? A reverse 3 0, yo? That is crazy. That's gonna be a reverse 6 0 since uh, QI was down two games uh, during the previous set against Nage. Damn. 
No! Here we go, the cavalry saved by the bell. That means that T.Y. definitely does not want to work sand. And this is gonna be it. T.Y. with the reverse 6-0 is your Protocop 104th champion. Good